What's going on everybody? Mike go back and today I'm going to show you how I send my TTM request. So what is a TTM? TTM stands for through the mail and in this case we're talking about through the mail autograph request. People collect all sorts of autographs through the mail. Some people collect celebrities, TV stars, movie stars, musicians. I collect sports figures, mostly baseball and football, but you know, I'll touch on hockey and basketball as well. So I've had a lot of people sending me private messages and comments and asking, hey, how do you get autographs? How do you find out? How do you do it? I don't really know where to get started. So I wanted to make this little video to show you how simple it is to request an autograph through the mail with just a few simple supplies. Some things to keep in mind when sending out TTM requests. First off, remember the player you're sending to, they're doing a favor for you, so make sure you're very polite in your letter. Make sure you take the time to, uh, you know, thank them and be very courteous. Also, make sure you do your research. There's a lot of retired players out there that are glad to sign, but they sign for charity. They have foundations, they have different things set up, so make sure you look it up and see what they require. You know, there's a lot of guys out there who have very reasonable fees um, that they use that it's all goes to charity, and you really want to make sure you kind of follow those guidelines. You don't want to get turned away yourself, and you don't want to ruin it for others out there. Research is a big part of TTMing. There are a tremendous amount of online resources to find addresses and success rates for players that you might want to request autographs of. Now, current athletes, current players, in most cases, you're just going to send directly to the stadium. You might be able to send to a training camp complex or potentially a spring training complex. It all depends on the part of the year. Those addresses can generally be found on teams' websites, and you can honestly just Google them to find them. To get information for retired players, you're going to generally go with private addresses, and most of those can be found on various websites. The source that I use is sportscollectors.net, for my money, it's the best thing out there. It is a subscription service. It's $14.99 per year, worth every penny of that. Also, you should always keep in mind that sending things through the mail is always a risk. I wouldn't recommend sending high value cards through the mail. There's plenty of awesome looking cards that are really cheap, that cost a quarter or 50 cents, that look amazing signed. So I would look in that direction. Things can get lost on their way to a destination. Things can get lost in the shuffle once a player receives the mail. Keep in mind, these players receive a lot of fan mail, a lot more than you can probably imagine. And also, once the player signs the item and it's on its way back to you, there's always a chance it could get lost or damaged in the mail. So just make sure you keep that in mind. Today I'm going to be making up an autograph request to Phillies relief pitcher Pat Neshek. So Pat Neshek is an autograph collector himself. He is, in my opinion, the number one signer in professional sports today from active players. He collects autographs himself. He makes various baseball sets. He is someone who has an extremely high return rate. He signs in person and stuff like that as well. So I figure I'll, uh, I'll show you guys an easy one here. So what do you need to request an autograph through the mail? Well, first, you need to identify the items you're going to send. I have a few cards here for Mr. Pat Neshek including his 2017 Topps card, which was just released. It shows him in his Astros uniform. He's now with the Phillies, but there's nothing out there yet uh, in a Phillies uniform, so I'm going to send these to him. After you have identified the item you'd like to have signed, it's time to write a letter. So I just use a regular standard piece of white paper that you use to print stuff on. Um, it's thick enough that it's good to uh, protect the cards when you're sending it out. It's white, it's bright, and it's really easy to write a quick letter on. When you're sending a TTM request, you want to make things as easy as possible for the person that you're requesting an autograph from. So, obviously you need to have your self-addressed stamped envelope ready ahead of time. So let's take care of that now. So I use a number six and three quarters envelope. It's small, convenient, it's perfect for the cards coming back to you, and it fits easily within the number 10 envelope we're going to use to send out this request. So first off, I take four index cards and I place them in the envelope. I do this because it stiffens up the envelope a little bit, it gives it a little extra support, and helps kind of prevent possible damage to your card on the way back. Once I've placed the index cards in the envelope, it's time to fill out my address. Obviously, you want to write it neatly and legibly. You don't want to go through all this trouble and have the thing get lost in the mail or return to sender because they couldn't read your writing. You can also use an address label as well if you'd like. One recommendation I can definitely make is to make sure you get easy peel envelopes. You want the autograph signer to be able to peel and seal. They're not going to want to lick 
or go through the trouble of wetting a gummed envelope. Definitely avoid that. Of course, remember to stamp your self-addressed envelope. Finally, we need to fill out the envelope. You need to make sure you have a correct address, fill out the player's address. You're gonna most likely be sending it to a team, so you send care of the team. You wanna put your return address up at the top left-hand side and make sure, again, you have proper postage. Most of the time you can get away with the regular old forever stamp. Every now and then if you're sending thicker cards or a few more cards, you may need to bump up the postage a little bit. So once we've sealed up our TTM request, one final step. All we have to do is find ourselves a mailbox, place it in, sit back, relax, and wait for it to return. Now you have to keep in mind that not every TTM request you send out will come back. Some may get lost in the mail, some players just won't sign. But hey, that's all part of the game. You're not going to get everything back. But you send enough out, you'll build yourself up a really nice autograph collection. Hopefully this video was helpful. Comment below with any other questions or comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, and have yourselves a great one.